What is going on everybody? Hey, my name is Timothy with Timothy's Mobile Home Tours and I hope you're having a great day. Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we are up here at Pleasant Valley Homes in Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, and we're gonna check out the Dover. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you all about it. All right, so again, this is the Dover and it is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,645 square foot modular home. And it has two car garages and we'll actually kind of get to peep our heads in it this one isn't going to be like the last garage that was fully finished out because we are just here in their little model center and we'll be checking out all these homes as well but let's go ahead and walk around this beautiful thing and we'll hop on inside Dun, 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 dun. And Miss Jennifer did come with me today. She is popping. She's a couple months. I think we're, what, two months away? Less than two months away from Little Roto. All right, so when you walk into this home, this is what you were greeted with. You have your little dining space, kitchen area, and then your living space. And then when you first come in, you do have a coat closet. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Yo, I... <laughs> I don't know if that's... I don't know. I'm confused. It's a secret tunnel. It's an actual hiding room. Yeah. An actual, actual Heidi door. Then coming into the living room, got the laminate plank floors. Pretty color. I like how I like the gray in it. I'm I'm a gray and white fan. I think when it comes to cabinets and shelves and flooring, just has that more like. For me, personally, I don't know, just a, a nicer tone about it. But I do like some of the dark woods as well, too. Big old beautiful island with the laminate countertops. Now I'm sure that you can upgrade all that stuff. Ooh, a trash can bin. With the soft clothes, got your dishwasher right here on the island, and this big old sink. And then there is no refrigerator, but I think several of these homes here are sold already and they're just waiting to be moved. But plenty of counter space. Do all the chopping that you need to do. Cabinets are not soft clothes. Y'all, these last couple homes, <laughs> they got me looking now. Then you got a little range top up here. And your hood, the range top has drawers underneath of it. I don't think I've been in a home where we've seen that before, but that's because you have your stove and microwave right over here, stacked on top of each other. And that's what I'm talking about. And then coming into your dining room area, which right behind that, you do have the two, where you have the sliding glass door, the two sliding glass doors, the sliding glass door. And 
And then we're gonna go up the stairs in just a minute. I'm gonna let you guys check out the, the bedrooms downstairs and we'll see what's up there. Now coming down the hallway, you have your basement access or crawl space access, depending on the type of foundation that you have. And then coming into the laundry room, washer dryer hookups. And then this is the other side of that door that we came through, that closet. I guess it's nice because that would be your front door, just kind of hang it there. And then right here, this is your uh, garage. So if you were to come in from the garage, kind of a cool way to, to set up the space. Now it is just sitting on the lot right now. So this garage is nowhere near finished and it's merely for uh, show purposes. But it does have a two car garage. Then you have your electric panel. Nothing behind the door. All right, and coming into your first bedroom. I took my flip flops off and the carpet feels good. I will make sure to put up the sizes of these rooms for you uh, when I go back and edit the video. So I'm sure right now you've already seen it. Good size closet. And then we'll go ahead and go down to this other bedroom real quick. This one is a little bit smaller. it would be nice to have a fan in a couple of these. I guess more dusting though. I just, I gotta have that. Not just the noise at nighttime, you know what I mean? But also like that movement of air. All right. Then we have the second bathroom. And this one does have a medicine cabinet built into the mirror. And the puppy, the puppy. Then you have a shower tub combo. Little funky angle to it. And then let's hold off going to the, we're gonna hold off going to the master bedroom and bathroom. I wanna go upstairs first. It's probably just the attic space. I doubt anything is finished up here, but yeah, got some, oh, it's big up here. We turn this into a big old game room. Add some extra rooms up here if you wanted to. Or shoot, you just put all the holiday decorations and you're good to go. Oh my goodness, it keeps going. This is gonna take you out over top of the garage. That'd make like a good little reading nook or an office or something. So much space up here. All right, now we can go see the master bedroom. But I think that, you know, that would be good. Like you probably rent that out up there, help pay for the house. All right, big old master bedroom. It's got the floor vents over on that side, so I would imagine 
it's set up to put your bed right here. Alrighty. And then coming back towards your bathroom area, before you get into the bathroom, you actually have your closet. And they went with a different type of shelving in here. So this is the, the wood shelves as opposed to the, the wire shelving, which all of that stuff is just different options and upgrades that you can have added to the house. Uh, once you come and start designing your own. And you have a double vanity. A little medicine cabinet. Beautiful shower. Nice tile surround. And then even the floor is tile as well. Pretty cool. And then lastly, your linen closet. All right, so what y'all think about that home? Again, this is the Dover 1,645 square foot. It is by Pleasant Valley Homes. Three bedroom, two bath. I liked the little double closet thing that they had going on when you first walked into the home that went straight into the, the laundry room, I think that is a true hidey door. It's like a little secret, secret passageway, a little secret lair. Anyway, I don't know. Hey, this home's gonna start you out at about $224,000. With that 1,645 square foot finished space down on the bottom, you have about 840 square foot upstairs that can be finished if you so choose. Anyway, up at the Pleasant Valley plant, uh, they do have a design studio, which is really cool. You can check out this video right here. It's just a short little clip of kind of all the different things that they had going on. They had a couple really neat kitchens that I got to go into. And then they also had a beautiful bathroom that I think I would take one of those and stick it into this house and it would just be absolutely amazing. I do want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel, everyone that watches our videos and especially to our members. We appreciate you. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are today. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, definitely make sure to click on this one right here. And as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see you in the next one.